In New York, Costello remained a celebrity and a living legend based on his criminal past. Author Peter Moss approached Frank to write a biography. I said, you want to leave your here, footprints in the sand of time. Yeah, I like that. Then I said, I think this is so important. I think I get the biggest advance anybody has gotten for a nonfiction book. And I did. He never asked for a penny. Moss and Costello met 11 times, the first seven occasions in Moss's apartment. Everybody knew who he was. When he left the apartment, I walked downstairs and the doorman turned around to me and said, ah, he said, there's the real godfather. <laughs> After a year and a half of discussions, Costello finally consented to writing his biography with Moss. But just 10 days later, on February 18, 1973, the author got bad news. Charlie the Blade Tree called me and he just said, he's gone. And hung up the phone. Uh, he wanted not to ask who. Frank Costello, the Prime Minister of the Underworld, had died of a heart attack. At the age of 82, he had found himself. He could say, I know what it means now to be alive with all its responsibilities and problems still I've earned a good night's sleep. <laughs>